Got some past exam questions here covering basic concepts of organic chemistry. So if you want to have a go, the link to the questions is in the description of the video. So just click on that, download the questions, have a go, and then play on for the answers. Okay, so the first one, we've got three bonding regions around that central carbon. Just remember that a double bond counts as one region. We don't have any lone pairs. Carbon's used all four of its valence electrons in these bonds. One for that chlorine bond, one for that one, two in the double bond. So there's no lone pairs. So we'll get equal repulsion of the three bonding regions and that leads to a trigonal planar shape. So it's D. Question two, we've got a molecule that has two bonding regions, two bonding pairs, two lone pairs. So there's four regions altogether. So your sort of starting shape, if you like, is tetrahedral, but we don't class these in the shape. So it's non-linear. The angle is going to be, well, if it's four bonding region, it's 109.5, but the extra repulsion from the lone pair, lone pair repulsion pushes these together by five degrees. So it's two and a half degrees per lone pair. So that'll take the angle down to 104.5, so the answer was B. Question three, we've got four molecules. Which one's polar? So I've drawn the shape diagrams up there and you can see that A is completely symmetrical. The CH bonds aren't classed as polar anyway because the electronegativity difference is too small. So that's non-polar. B is non-polar as well, ethene. It's planar, it's symmetrical. The bonds aren't even polar anyway. C is the polar one. I'll just explain that. So we've got this different bond here to the other three and so there will be an overall dipole in this molecule because there's nothing to cancel out this dipole here. D is non-polar because all of the dipoles will cancel out because of the symmetry in the molecule. So anyway the answer was C. Systematic name for the molecule so we've got the longest continuous chain is one two three four five. You could have gone that way as well. So it's five, so it's based on pent. Uh, the OH group dictates that that's carbon number one, so it's a penton one all. So you can see the answer is going to be C. I'll just explain the extra part of the name. So carbon one, two, three, four. We've got a methyl there, so this is four methyl penton one all. So C again. Question five. So which of the molecules are aliphatic? Which ones are allocyclic? Which ones are aromatic? Okay, so aliphatic first. If it's got a benzene ring, it's not aliphatic. If it hasn't got one, it is. So these are all aliphatic. Alicyclic, well, that's a ring, but it can't be a benzene ring. So we've got one, two, three, four, five rings, but these aren't alicyclic because they're aromatic. So these are your alicyclic ones and they're your aromatic ones. And the next part, compound I has one alkyl group. So there's the alkyl group there that's on that. That's actually an ethyl group. Alkyl groups are just things like CH3, C2H5. So methyl, ethyl, propyl will do as well, C3H7. So what's the general formula there? Well, for n number of carbons, the number of hydrogens is 2n plus 1. Question six now, so we've got to determine the molar mass and draw a possible structure for A. We're told it's an alcohol, so it's going to have an OH group. So the information tells us that it's um, an ideal gas equation because we've got a volume, we've got a pressure, and we've got a temperature. So the first thing we need to do is work out how many moles of air we've got using the ideal gas equation, and then we can work out its MR from mass over moles. We've got the mass 1.15 grams. So I did a gas equation, P of it was NRT, we're rearranging it for N for the number of moles and then we'll put the numbers in and just be careful with your conversions. So pressure needs to be in pascals, so that's 100,000 pascals. The volume needs to be in cubic metres, so we've got centimetres cubed, so all I do is put a 10 to the minus 6 on the end and that gets it into cubic metres. Divided by R, 8.314, that's on the data sheet, you don't need to remember that. The temperature is in the correct units, Kelvin, so 366. So putting all that in the calculator, we get 0 0.0250 uh, moles of A. So the MR is mass over moles, 1.15 over that mole value. 
and that comes out at 46. Okay, so 46. We'll put it the three significant figures so it ties in with everything else. So possible structure for A, well, it's going to be ethanol, C2H5OH. Question 7. Name the homologous series and state the general formula for compound B. So compound B is obviously an alkene. It's got a carbon-carbon double bond. And the general formula for these is CNH2N. Question 8. The molecular formula is C4H10O2. So that's the actual number of atoms of each element in the compound. Can that be simplified to a simpler ratio, whole number ratio of numbers? Yes, it can. C2H5O. Number 9. Empirical formulas. You can see I've already worked it out. So we've got a ratio of 2 to 5 to 1 for the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So the answer was D. And the final question, you can see I've kind of fleshed out the skeletal formula there, showing all the carbons and hydrogens. It's normally students forget about these single hydrogens on bonds like this, so sometimes those two would be missed out. Though when you add them up, you get C6H12O2, and so the answer was C.